Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the photo department. I very often get asked why I shoot film. It's friends, other photographers, family members, and I understand the curiosity behind that. It's a seemingly ancient medium. There's digital cameras literally everywhere, affordable and super high quality, even in your pocket, your phone camera. My iPhone 10 camera is incredible. Uh, why go through the cost and the effort to shoot ancient medium when you can just shoot everything on digital and it's a much easier workflow. You don't have to worry about all the associated costs with film and especially all the work it takes to have it processed. Most of the time I don't have a really profound reply ready. Usually I'll lean on stupid facts like, oh, film is inherently really high resolution or, oh, the way that the colors and the light is rendered on film is more pleasing and blah, blah, blah. But there are really two big main reasons why I continue to shoot film and will continue to shoot film as long as it's viable. The first main reason is have you ever seen slide film on a light table? It's incredible. Every photographer should go out and shoot a roll of slide film and then put that roll on a light table and look at your results because it's it's transcendent. It's kind of like nothing I've ever seen before. It blows my mind every time I see it. And the other big reason is that the film community is this big, loving, incredibly diverse community of people that really are passionate about film photography and then when you get together with these people and spend time with them and and hear their stories and share yours it's just like another it's just something that's really special and it it brings people together in a way that's I don't know it's different my friend Keja currently is in medical school in New Orleans and she came out to the west coast for vacation see family and then came up to San Francisco to stay with a friend and we decided we were going to meet up and shoot some photos and hang out. She recently, for her birthday, got a Contax T2 and is a big film fan, so we wanted to go out in San Francisco and explore because she hasn't really seen a lot of San Francisco before and take some pictures and, you know, have fun. She had her new trusty Contax T2 loaded up with Fuji Superior, and I was gonna be filming most of the time. I wanted to kind of film our day hanging out, but I also brought my Nikon F2 loaded up with Kodak Ektachrome. So Kodak kind of reintroduced Ektachrome in 2018 as a new film stock. It's a little bit different than the previous Ektachrome, but it's still a very, very beautiful slide film. We only had about one day to hang out and kind of explore, so I decided to take Keja out to Land's End and Sutro Baths. That's one of my favorite places in San Francisco. It's just really beautiful, it's very calming, it's a great vista point, and you know, even though there's a ton of tourists there at all times, it's just a very peaceful, very beautiful place to go.
This day was really awesome. It just really highlights what I'm talking about when I say that the film community is this big, beautiful community of like-minded individuals. It was two film nerds on various levels of their film journey. We really just were able to connect and share our mutual interest and have a great time. And I think that the images that came out were awesome. I think that Keja really loves her Contacts T2 and I'm a little bit jealous. I would really like to pick one of those up if uh, I win the lottery or something at some point. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate all the support this channel gets every time you guys watch one of my videos and my likes and views go up. It just empowers me to make more of this content and all of your comments and uh, you guys reaching out is just, uh, it means so much to me and uh, I just really appreciate the support after all these years. It's been really great. I know this channel is still pretty small, but uh, I feel like we have a really good community here and I'd love to learn more about this little community. So if you guys leave a comment here, I'd love to hear about your individual film journeys and uh, you know, what you love, what you hate, um, your frustrations, your triumphs, all that stuff. So please feel free to reach out and talk to me and I will see you in the next video.